Our pole sitter is Gilles de Ferran, but getting to that pole proved to be an odyssey for the Brazilians. Yesterday in practice, Walter Salas of Brazil was a slow car that Gilles de Ferran crashed into. Neither driver hurt. He almost flipped that race car. Uh, he went over the chicane. He pulled the wheel to the right, then back to the left. He clipped the tire barrier, went right over the top of the chicane, and the car tilted. So close between these two now in terms of fuel mileage, making it to the end, and dealing with the traffic. Art Myers, the next one. Oh, now that's helped Greg Moore. He's got caught in the corner. They come by this time. There'll be five laps to go. Oh, and look at this. This is the chance for Greg Moore, surely. Moore's on the inside. Zanardi's trying to shut him down. Myers in the middle. He doesn't know where to go. What to do? Zanardi's still on the outside. Oh, and he's still got a slight straight line speed advantage. Moore's now going around the outside. Oh, this is oh. great racing. Zanardi's wide. He went in too fast. He nearly he lost it, and that's the battle for the lead. Greg Moore's taken the lead from Alex Zanardi. So the safety vehicles become part of this. Now here is Stewart. Now watch on the right. Look at that. Now he's oh. almost going to hit the wall. Yeah. See, look at that. He, he does hit the wall. He does yeah, hit the wall. Look at the look at the mark going along the wall, and oh. there he runs over that nose. There's uh, literally no choice, though. There was no other place to go. He got caught in there, and that was it. Look at him, he almost got the truck right there, too. Yeah, what the, what the driver of that emergency vehicle thought when he took that step I'm, out. And I'm proud of him, he never gave up. Three pace and parade laps here, so John Cock perhaps will have enough time, a little longer pace and parading period. And Pepe Romero has had a problem on the racing surface already. Romero has had a collision with either another car or one of the barriers. He's one of the rookies who entered here this weekend. He did not qualify fast enough for the race, but he was given a position in the race and the promoter's option. So Pepe Romero from Miami, Florida, and the familiar Gordon Johncock, who raced in the IROC series yesterday, already in trouble. An absolutely horrifying accident. There's the onboard view from Michael Andretti's car as he gets into the back of Carpentier. All of a sudden, these cars just start stacking up in front of Michael, and he's had nowhere to go. Big fire. The entire back of the car is consumed. Pull into a place. Jim McGee telling him to try and find a... Don't even wait for a place. Get out. And I believe now it's just about to get out of the car. We have had about three cars. Now we've got a fourth end of the wall. Has priced. Two more have priced. Rookie Steve Krizdalov Sport blows up on lap 12. He pulled out and pulled fairly wide as he came out to avoid that pit in front of him. And there came Michael with no place to go, hit the brakes. Fittipaldi didn't have much choice, though. Well, there wasn't any choice. That, that was, in a way, an unavoidable accident. It's a serious accident. It almost got Michael on his head, but what would Fittipaldi do? He, he just gave everybody else enough room. He came out. Unfortunately, he squeezed Michael in, but it was not an intentional thing. And Greg Moore has done it. There he is, the 1995 oh, champion of the night. Look at Huge that. crash. Unbelievable. Trevor Siebert is end over end on the front straightaway as they come toward the checkered flag. Nothing getting inside the cockpit. We hope he's okay. End to end it was as he flew through the air. The real heavy contact was at the ends of the cars, pretty much, and he may be helped by that. It's a good thing we had a lot of rain here last night because we already saw a tow truck get stuck out there because of how soft the grass is. It, it, could, it could be a little situation where Jack Harvey just broke a little bit early because he thought he had the position and Kyle Kaiser being caught out just a little bit. You can see they're offline so there's no rubber on that side of the track so it's so easy to lock the wheels and also he's right behind Jack Harvey so there's a lot of turbulent air right there so a very easy thing to do but man what a shame to see so early in the race. And Spencer Piggott was also a loser in that. Now, he's a big winner that his race still continues, but he's just simply trying to stay unscathed, and he loses several positions. <laughs> My dog sees these pictures. She's going to be pissed. <laughs> 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 she is smarter than I am. It's official. Oh, we may have, have a situation. 